Hi, I'm this guy. I bought some of this on one of these with a couple of those on it to do I don't really know what. But I have lofty goals and little money, so I give you low budget, high desert. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Low Budget High Desert. I know it's been a minute, and that's why this is an update video. A lot of things have happened in the past couple of weeks over here on the property. First of which being, uh, there was a huge wildfire that burned uh, many hundreds of square acres in the area. As a result, I came down here uh, after abruptly quitting my job and uh, cut a fire line around the border of the property to try and mitigate the risk. The wildfire is completely contained now, and my land, fortunately, didn't catch fire by the grace of God and random distribution. I was able to keep all of my beautiful trees. But you can sort of see out there in the distance just how smoky it's been. At least we can see the sky today. But we have not been that lucky down here for about a month, I'd say. Another thing that's happened is that uh, it's not just me anymore. I got my friend over here. He lived in another state and wanted to come out and maybe uh, rough it a bit more than he was before. So I'd like to introduce you all to Stephen. Stephen's a deaf mute who grew up in a monastery in Texas. He's never seen a woman or had a hot meal, but that's what part of what makes him such a hard worker. Say hello, Stephen. That's right. <laughs> we also have a dog. Say hello. Huxley. This is Huxley. He doesn't seem to care. It's not all gloom and doom, though. We have been doing things here, and I'm going to show you the new things that we have done. You may notice that we have here many, many 60-pound bags of powdered rocks. That is going to go over here. Where these non-powdered rocks were. Where these non-powdered rocks were. <laughs> Thank you. And this hole is going to look nice later. These are the rocks in question. This is the station in which we will be getting swole. You'll see. The upper cabin has gotten some sort of treatment. I know it looks like a mess in here, but that's because the whole place was messy. There's an actual bed up here instead of just a pile of mattresses from the uh, lawn chairs. This is Steven's. I've given the whole cabin to him because I have one of my own. And it's nice for everybody to have their own project. Right here we see a portion of the fire line in question. This all was brush and overgrown grasses and roots and things that can spread fire along the ground. You're probably thinking, oh, but Hank, the fire can spot over, it can come from a tree and land over there in the dry brush and still start a fire. I know, but I'm doing what I can to mitigate the risk, right? You gotta do something. Nice to see the mule working as intended. Also, the motorized wheelbarrow is uh, doing its job too. Now here is something that really did deserve its own episode, but I was too much in firefighting mode to actually make an episode on it. You can sort of see up there that I have installed solar panels for electricity. Let's bring you inside. So those solar panels go through a hole I drilled in the side of my roof. It goes on and around and down and connects to this an enormous lithium-ion battery. Ignore the white glove. This thing is an absolute workhorse. It's fully charged now so you can't see it doing its thing, but with four 100 watt solar panels it can bring in 400 watts of solar power, which charges this thing up. You see the battery would be filling if it weren't already full. And from there there's some plugs in the back, which I've run cords down to power things like a refrigerator. Ooh, nice and icy. It's not just that though. I also have some lights, which I'll turn on later. Not really necessary right now. You'll have to excuse the mess. The concept of doing dishes is foreign to Steven, but we'll break him. Some other things that I think are worth showing. <clears throat> We've gone around here and attached this winch to this juniper and have been able to sort of park Steven's trailer and we can winch it up and down. I know, I probably should have angled that more, but 
I didn't know when I installed it, so we'll fix that later. I've also set up a small shooting range, with a little spinning steel target, and this one that I made. Nice shot, dick shot. Siding in the uh, varmint rifle because I've discovered we have a bit of a pest problem here. More on that later. What, is that? what the hell is that thing? Oh my god, it's coming right for me. Now I know how this looks. It looks like a bunch of trash. And you'd be right, because a lot of this is the trash left here by old Edgar. There is so much stuff. These piled trash bags, mm, not even 5% of the shit that he left here. There's a lot to get rid of, but fortunately, I've discovered that the property is not that far away from a rural garbage dump where we can take all of this stuff, like, you know, uh, multiple ruined gas canisters and trash bags and piles of nasty wood that isn't usable and just have it be someone else's problem for a small fee. This right here, I know this doesn't look like much, but trust me, this is going to be big. This gets its own video, or maybe a segment of its own video, but I have a plan. A plan to stay clean. Last but certainly not least, you see the beginnings of another project here. This hole, covered by this sunshade canopy, is where we are going to put the outhouse. First you gotta build a hole, then you gotta build a building over it, right? So, this is where it started. This is going to be a bit of a project that will definitely deserve its own video. But it'll be nice to actually have a place to go out here. That about does it for this video. I've shown you all the major stuff that needs to be shown. And uh, with coming videos, you'll see these projects actually get finished, hopefully. So, thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you on the next one.